As you gather information and knowledge build within the brain software, you may eventually find thought types be useful. In this episode, I cover part of my journey to how I use thought types today. For today's episodes, the only prerequisites are to have the brain software. The brain software comes in two flavors, pro and free versions. Thought types are one of the key pro features that I use. Thought types was the primary reason I initially paid for the pro level. I find them so helpful, I would pay for the pro level again. For me, it started with four thought types. Person, company, project type, and knowledge acquisition. Or more accurately, that's where it has evolved to. Let's start with the person thought type. As an avid reader, one of the first things I wanted to add to my instance of the brain was books and authors. I added several dozen books, which was quick and rewarding. As I started to add authors, I encountered a problem. Some authors were psychologists, physicists, mathematicians, and business people. After a few weeks of thinking, I realized that a person is not just an author, mathematician, dancer, or other. Instead, a person becomes a professional in more than one field in their life. That's when I realized that a person was a thought type and things like psychologist, author, software engineer, parent, etc. are tags that can be added. I also determined that I wanted to quickly tell a thought type was a person, so I added a default icon and picked out a high contrast green. This stood out well on the dark wallpapers that I used. Let's move over to the knowledge acquisition thought type. With the book thought type, I came to a different realization. As any avid reader realizes, they read more than just books. They read articles, definition, peer-reviewed papers, quotes, and more. That should be no problem, just keep adding more thought types. However, I found a means of making it easier for me. I realized that thought types could be hierarchical. This allowed me to set the font colors at the parent level and use icons to differentiate between the different child thought types. With this idea in mind, I realized that knowledge acquisition could have thought type children of a book, article, definition, quote, etc. I gave each child type a unique icon, but all the text is the same purple color. A person still has the green font type with the stick figure icon. This actually helped me make connections even faster. I could more quickly identify the expected context of a thought. I didn't even need to see the author tag to know the person above a book was an author. And anything below the book was something that was contained or referenced within the book. Let's move over to company. My next most used hierarchical thought type is company. In my day job, I work with anyone that ships small parcel. It's easy to deduce that this would include retailers, manufacturers, 3PL, healthcare, aerospace, and companies that ship regulated goods. For me, company was the opposite of a person. I didn't want to make them all the same. I wanted to have them broken down. I wanted to see how one manufacturer's system could reflect against another manufacturer's system. With this level of company breakdown, there are other trends, bits of common software that does not often extend across other company types. Therefore, using company as a parent thought type and creating child thought types for each major company type is far more useful to me than just the singular company thought type. Color has a part to play here too. With a person being green, knowledge acquisition purple, company's light blue, all my projects, by the way, are also in a yellow color. This makes searching faster, wandering more effective, and my daily notes are faster to put together. Here you can even see in the history section over here what the different thought types were, right? So we can very easily see that Pat is a person. The brain meeting notes are exactly that. They're knowledge acquisition. My daily, weekly, monthly notes are all that. They're a type of a project, okay? So it makes it very easy for me to break them down and start looking for particular things. If I were to go to go ahead and use a search thing and look for something like building, I can see, I can quickly find the book. I can find thoughts that include the word building in them and determine whether or not they're knowledge acquisition or something else. As a business person, I deal with people and companies day in and day out. I study books, articles, and other knowledge acquisition things. I'm working on multiple business and personal projects. As such, these are the most important thought types in my PKM. If you are a student, you may have different thought types that matter to you, maybe breaking down by the schools in your university. As a software engineer, your thought types may be used based on the languages that you're learning or software engineering concepts. In the end, the key to me is that thought types can provide a multimedia assistance in the uptake of knowledge in the brain, making your PKM that much more valuable. You can find references to the media companion article in the description. You can also find a link to 
our Discord channel, as well as to this training brain, such that you can go through and look at the various parts. Note, if you're watching this later, the training brain probably will have changed, but there will be plenty of great context to help you going forward. As always, please like and subscribe and share with anyone else who might be interested in personal knowledge management systems.